So Vapi just released a new feature called Workflow, which can completely change the way that Vapi works and probably make it best AI voice caller solutions in the entire world. So let's actually have a look and see what it's like. Okay, so we are at Vapi at the moment. And basically what happened was yesterday, they released a new feature that's currently under beta at the moment. So it's unreliable, which I will go into talk in a minute. But basically, if you literally go to workflows, you can see that now you can actually create your own workflows. So for those who are familiar with Blend AI, you will know that the kind of advantage for Vapi over Blend is that, well, it's easier to set up everything. It's so much faster and easier to set up your assistance. But the disadvantage is it relies heavily on prompts, right? for Vapi, and, and it has less control over logic, which is something that Blend is better at for specific control. But now they have actually released this feature called Workflow. It allows you to have so much more control over your specific logic, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So to try it out, you simply go to how you would normally set up a VAPI assistant and you will literally go to create assistant and I'll just call this pizza demo. So I'm just gonna create one that's gonna, a very simple demo that's gonna accept an order from a specific customer. I'm just gonna click create assistant as always. Once I'm in, I gonna just literally go to here, as you can see in the bottom right, you can see provider. Usually you would choose OpenAI, right? But now I would just click Vapi. And once I click Vapi, you can see that you can now attach a workflow into it. So this is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to click attach workflow. And I'm just going to create a new workflow called Pizza Nemo, right? So I'm just going to click create workflow. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new interface for the workflow. So it's a really, really nice UX design, by the way. Just, just so you know, it's so much cleaner. I like this over blend. Um, well done to the VAPI team, by the way. This is this is brilliant. But so as you can see, you have different options. So the, the thing with these workflows is that you need to save it every time you change something, every time you move something, you need to save it. Because basically, this actually runs on this specific code, this specific JSON. So you have this specific workflow and then you have these names, type, metadata, we've got these positions, et cetera. So think of these as nodes, right? Think of these as specific things that are connected to each other that has its own coordinates within this workspace. So whenever you move something, you can see here you change the coordinates and because you change the coordinates in this JSON code, then you, Therefore, like you need to save it every time basically you make a change, which in this case would be the coordinates, right? And you, that's basically prompt, exact, which I'm gonna go into in a minute. But if you're like a developer and you're more experienced with code, you can do with that. You can, that you can't really change the code at the moment because um, it's beta, but I presume that is something that you can manually do with the code if you're good at coding. But for people who wants to basically do a little bit faster, well, you can literally just use this drag and drop interface, right? You can switch between the two as well. And the first node is obviously a start call. So this is basically where the flow begins. And there are multiple different options that you can choose. The first one, as you can see here, is a say node. So what it does is literally you have two options. You can basically text, you can basically put a text here in the instructions and the AI will try to follow this instruction and say exactly what you basically put in there. That's why it's called exact. So for example, if I say, hi, this is pizza. How can I help you today, right? So that will be a say option. It will say exactly that in the call. And you also have the prompt option where you can literally just do a prompt as usual. So like, I'm not gonna delete this, but like you are, an expert pizza order handler, right? So you can do something like that, but and then your your role is to right as you know, usually how you would write prompt. But for now, I'm just going to put it as exact, right? And that's and after you do after you 
of this node completed, the next thing you can do is you can add something, right? So you drag over here, you click this little add button, and you can see that these are the available steps within Vapio at the moment. So I'm just going to go over them really quickly. So you've got the gather step, which in this case will be requiring the AI to basically capture the very specific information that you're looking for. For example, names, um, emails, phone numbers, etc. Right, that would be a function snap. The next one would be API requests. I think we all know what that is. You basically, you can basically, so right now you can, of course, within that, you can already like connect to make.com workflow, but now you can connect it to anything you want, right? That has an API request. You can do it, you can send it to, probably not 11 apps, but you can send it to, let's say, Google Maps API if you want to, right? So that's something that you can do. Transfer call, something that, you know, transfer it to a human team if the AI doesn't answer the specific customer's question. That would be another option. You also got the end call option, which, you know, obviously hands to call. And this is the most exciting part. It's a condition, which I'm going to show you in a second. It basically allows your workflow to be more structured following a more specific uh, logical flow that you design it to be. So I'm going to go over each of these in detail so you so you kind of know exactly what it is but let me for now let's just say it's gather so you can see here the output is create specific values that the assistant will ask for right you need to specific manually so i just click here so the name of the variable is basically gathering a specific variable in our case it will be order right so let's say order and the description will be the pizza order from the customer right let's say for example ham pizza right and you can choose the data type right you have string number and boolean right boolean is true or false for those who don't know but it's quite straightforward that like, what you expect in our case the specific order will be string right so and then you can click this output is required so basically you must provide the vapi must be able to capture this specific output for this to be a valid uh, flow so that it must capture this flow before continuing the, the workflow it must capture this variable before continuing this workflow right so we just click that and remember to save um, it's quite annoying right now um, you have to save it every time but I hope they can do some sort of auto save because yeah but this is still in beta so it's still quite early so if you just click here now let's say like the user has provided the specific variable which is order in this case well then you can go through a logic step right so if i just literally click here and i click condition now this is a logic condition now i want to see if basically you are asking the user to confirm whether the order the, the, the specific variable is correct or not right so basically the user said something let's say ham and then you basically use the logic condition to say okay just to confirm your order is X, right? Is this correct? Right? You're basically doing this, but you can, of course, like for this specific use case, obviously, like the using the natural prompt that you, how you would normally use Vapi would probably be the more efficient way. But this is simply to show you a very simple workflow, what you can do to in Vapi to show you a more structured way of doing it rather than just using prompts, right? So if I just click here, condition, and I let's say, say, and also i click another the, the thing about condition is that you can have multiple branches right so if i even if i have one branch i can also click plus to for another branch so in this case it would be say again so you have two branches already right so the logic on the left let's just call it so it will say follow this path if you can select between all or any of the following conditions match, right? So I would just say, I would just choose all, all of the following conditions map, and I would just add the logic conditions. And the field, well, we only have one variable, right? Which is collect order, just to confirm. So order, so sorry, I should probably add something before this, which is, let's say, say, let's basically, basically say just to confirm, let's do exact. Just to confirm your order is, well, they can insert a variable here. So this is basically saying, okay, so once you've collected a specific order from the customer, this is basically saying, just to confirm your order is 
the information that they captured, that you're basically asking the customer if that's correct, then you basically can collect a another step. You go through another gather step, which is you can specify a variable, which is order confirm. Description is basically saying that if the customer, if the customer order is correct or not, right? And it's going to be Boolean, right? Because it's a yes or no, so the output is required. And confirm the order is this, and then the customer will say yes or no. And then if it's, and then it then goes through a logic step, right? So if the, well, it looks a little bit weird right now. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> and it basically say if the order confirmed, which is a yes or no, so if it's yes, so if I just say this select field, order confirm equals yes or correct, right? Then this happened, right? Then basically say, perfect. And then you will go on and say something like, can I have your name and address, please? Right. You probably want to do it in two separate steps just to make it more clear, but I just want to go over it like quicker because I don't want to have your name and then your capture name and the address and capture address, right? So I'm just gonna, say gather uh, name name of the customer right and then you have string and you also collect the address which is the address of the customer uh, this output is required Right, you have basically have two outputs, and after that, let's just say end the call. You have the condition, you can transfer call or end the call. Let's say, hand, let's say end the call. And from here, you can say that, okay, if the output order confirms, so whether they, they basically say it's yes or no, if it's no or incorrect, then, let me actually say, if it, then, unfortunately right now, because you know how when they say the order is incorrect, you should be able to loop it back to the original block, which is basically say, ah, oh, no problem. Um, so what is your order then? Then you will basically, let me just make this more clear. Let's try again, right? No problem, let's try again. What I meant by that is after this block, you should be able to connect back to the collect, you collect order, right? Because they, they're basically saying you got their order wrong and they, they, should, they should try again. So you should go to this specific block. But right now, because it's in beta, you can't really drag this and connect this back to this block right now. There's no way you can do this, right? So this is an, a feature that would be nice to have, basically reusing the same block. And right now you can't copy and paste. So if I copy this, you can't copy and paste this block, at least from my end. Correct me if I'm wrong, but right now I can't do this. As of right now, yeah, I can't really do that. So it's quite annoying that you have to basically, basically have to manually create this the same block over and over again you can see how this can get annoying right if you're kind of repeating the same block or same function again but basically essentially the logic is no problem let's try again and then you would go to um they would then say their order again and then you will need to collect the order again right and it will go through the same step again so it's like an iterative loop if that makes sense and yeah so that's basically what i wanted to cover pretty much um, but but, but of right now, when I was trying it out, it will automatically hang out, hang up when you arrive to the condition steps. And I've looked at the some of the feedback. I think some of the users, some of the other beta users are also uh, experiencing the same problem right now. So it's not reliable right now. So I, I wouldn't recommend actually implement this into your existing projects at the moment it's not it's unreliable and it's not something that i would do as of right now because it's still in beta but it's to, the whole idea is to give you guys uh, a preliminary kind of warning i guess or a taste of what's going to happen within VAPI, just to make you guys aware that there's i think right now there's literally no once this is when this workflow has been really implemented there's really no you know benefit well there is benefit but like that there's really very little benefits of using blend over that i think everyone will be using that at this point and also one thing i want to mention is that within blocks you can actually blocks is also in beta you can actually create your own block let's call this demo 
and the score is beta than more. Right? And within, within within blocks, you can now it's very similar to workflow, but blocks is a more general general workflow. Basically, you can have start right. You can basically have the instruction, and you can also determine the expected output data from this conversation, etc. Right. And to create your next block, you can click add step. And unlike workflow, which is kind of you, as you see from workflow, it's very specific uh, functions that you can do. But within blocks, it's more general. You can basically have a conversation, right? You select send a message or collect information from the user. You can use something called true calling, which you, are, you sh should be familiar with the choose section over here in VAPI. But this is just an example, right? To specific info. So you can basically do a URL, an API step, and then it, will can, it can call this specific function and it would do something for you. It's basically when AI agent is essentially, because it's a function calling essentially. And another thing you can do is you can embed a workflow, which we already covered, is use a nested step within the current workflow, right? So you can select your own workflow, right? And then you basically have a nested workflow, basically a workflow within a workflow. So this is just to make things easier because if this is like your primary, a primary like skeleton workflow, right? And then you have one specific workflow that's very complicated, it's gonna look very annoying. It's gonna look like really, really messy in your primary screen, which is not something you want. So you would want to actually use this nested workflow to make it more organized, etc. But right now, it's a little bit still unstable. So I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't recommend using it straight away in the project. I think what I'm gonna do is that once the features are more stable and then you can actually, you can actually, you know, actually use it in your project. I I'm going to make a much, much detailed tutorial on how to do this, but this is just meant to be, this video is just meant to be like a taste of a, well, on what's to come essentially. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. So yeah, that's it for me today. So if there's anything more you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and yeah. That's for me today. Have a good one. My name is Edwin. I'm the founder of Legacy AI, alongside my friend Champion here. That's his real name, by the way. And together we offer voice-based and text-based AI solutions, like the one you're seeing in this video, to other businesses to help them save hours and hours of time and thousands of dollars spent on manual service tasks, such as appointment scheduling, CRM integration, lead generation, etc. And if you're a business owner and you're interested to see how these AI solutions can help transform your business and improve your bottom line, follow the link in the description to book a free consultation call with us today.